Hi folks, uh, I got a little bit done more on Greenhouse. It was all going to be... I'm all about the bass, about the bass now. But it's not all about the bass. The bass is done now. Uh, there's some clips on that and I managed to get the, um, one of the sides done. And I had a few, yeah, a bit of fun with it due to Greenhouse and how I had to get around stuff. So, I'd like to thank all new subscribers again. Um, if you've got an active channel, please leave a comment below and let me know that and I'll come over and have a look at your channel. And I appreciate your likes, thumbs up and your comments and the feedback what you gave me. So, that's super. Thank you very much. But... It's quite long, so I'll get on with it. It's nice to be nice. So that's all in and fixed solid. Uh, I've put concrete board on that side. I'm going to do it inside as well. I'm going to dig some more out. Helper. I've got to get some more concrete board, but I'll do a light inside as well. And that'll keep all my wood out of the wet. I'm going to go for that piece. It is just a little bit short, but I can do something with corner. That's not a problem. I'll, and it's going to have wood frame over it anyway. Um, I'm just going to fill re turf outside now. Stops anybody from putting the foot in it and breaking an ankle. Like me. I think the postman's arrived. They like the postman. Oh, well, that's what that side looks like. That's a bit of tidy up. I'm not bothered putting turf back in that edge because I didn't leave a lot of space. I've got to put another screw down there, do that when I do it inside. Just chop some turf back in there. I'll just fill that round with soil. Grass will take over again, that's not a problem. What soil I'll get, I'll put in that bed over there. That one I made, <coughs> that one I made last year. So, that needs some more soil in it. Some help now. You're doing a good job. Are you going to help finish the frame? Are you going to build the frame up? Yeah, okay. That's that stuck in. See it, get some more dirt in that. So, that's that patched in. What I will do, I've got a bit of a dip there still, but I can fill that up because, in the end, I'm not having grass in here obviously. I'm going to wood chip it up and then I'll grow in uh, tubs in here. The big uh, black totes. I've got some for my tomatoes down there. There. Uh, my tomato house. Little bit tubs inside there. And that's that done. Now the fun bit. Oh, I'm going to put that on first and do that now. Right then, that's that mounted. There were about 20 millimetres, 2 centimetres difference in height on that, but it were expected. It all slopes like this anyway. Packed it out with some blue foam, builder's foam underneath, so that'll do it. I also strengthened the inside edge with a piece of wood all the way along, so I've got something solid to screw to. I'm going to have to recap that anyway. That's not a big problem. My helper's back. <laughs> and uh, I'll get on with frame now. I did some of it on the day like you saw. But now it's time to get serious. It's three o'clock now. I've been at that most of the day. I did nip out to buy a bit more wood. And uh, say I haven't want to level it out yet. Some of that soil I want to keep because that's good soil. We're a good garden bed. So I'll be trying to save that soil as much as I can and I'll put some rubbish bike what I've got any anything that's not good. You can still save that. Yeah that soil I'm saving. Yeah. But I've got to pull all that couch grass out. All this. All this. Yeah okay now. And the words there yeah the roots. Yeah. All in white roots. You don't want bugs getting in here. Bugs? Yeah, they'd eat everything. No, well, not bugs that eat everything. We want bees, though. Because bees are good. Yeah. 
Then you should open like on the top like a little window that bees can fly in. We will. We'll have windows in the top. So they can fly in. And, and so it too. keeps cold because it'll get very hot in here. Yeah. Anyway. Are you going to put a hot machine in here? A hot machine? Yeah. I don't know. A heater? Winter? Maybe, but I don't think so. That heats like something. No. Well, to eat, make it keep it warm so it don't freeze in here. Yeah. Like you should put it on the ship like on top when it comes down. So yeah. let's get warm. We'll but see. you need water too. Oh, well yeah, we'll need water for sure. So that's not fixed. That's fixed temporarily. That's me top beam or representation of it that'll run through just so that I can get these in position because what I wanna do. It don't look very big but I had a sixty by sixty. That's uh, 30 by 100. It'll be stronger in that direction than 60 by 60. Plus, it'll it'll have a sprag across there and on every other unit, uh, on every other piece. Um, so now, what I'm talking about with this, the 60 by 60 post, I can find out now exactly where it comes on here from this, because this again will have to be bird beaked in into the the 60 will have to be bird beaked into that but now I can get all my measurements and I can build this side I've got to cut that piece there I'm going to cut that piece so that then I know exactly how this corner comes and then I can just build this side as one piece and same again I can build that side as one piece that side is slightly uh, deeper that side's going to be lower if you know what I mean so it'll be a longer side than that side but gives me a rough idea because basically now what I really want to do is uh, get that off well get these measurements get that off and uh, get some paint on there while the weather's good because I can then like I say build these two sides get them up and propped so I can get front done and roof because there's been obviously there's going to be some supports in this here Door, doorway will come. Not a bit doorway. It's big enough. Like I say, if I get a slider on that side, it means I can get the black plastic tub down this side. And that's a problem. So guys, it's not time to stop putting this frame together. Um, if you use a chop saw, or if you don't use one very often and you've got one, and you want clean cuts, or cleanish, clean air cuts, Put a sacrificial board behind it and that'll support the fibres, especially if your saw's a little bit blunt like this one is. Really need to sharpen that, but it, it cuts, but it will pull out, especially on pine like this. It'll shred the back edge. So put a sacrificial board in, that's just a bit of uh, MDF flooring. And I'll slide that in, pack it out same distance on the other side, and then do your cut. It helps. So, a bit of a dilemma. Now, the problem is with this garage is obviously it's still not it's not true, it's not plumb anymore, yeah. Oh, you can see that. So it's probably gonna be an inch from there. Now the dilemma is if I take a direct measurement from under here to here yeah from that back edge to that back edge it will look right with that if I go plumb it'll look like something's it'll look like it's out you know so I'm gonna go for an option where it's nicer for eye than for plumb although it might make a little bit of a difference how I'm gonna plumb that end up because what I'm gonna do I've just cut that that's in there it's all temporary but the corner post will be fixed to this side and then I'll fit that first and then fit the, fit this side with the corner post up to that yeah that's the plan and I've got to paint it as well before I fix it that's another point it's not uh, it won't be uh, painting it after I won't paint on, on the side as well I'll have to do something with that corner two options 
I could just extend that or I'll just put a return which wouldn't be a bad thing I'll just return it straight up there and fill it in you know what I mean because here there's a there's a beam there's a piece of wood behind that all that corners like that it's all fixed to it it's all fixed to that slab it's fixed there's another slab on the other side and obviously that slab what I put in that corner again all screwed through all screwed through into into that bed so and and it, it ultimately it's not heavy so it's not going to go anywhere but it'll be fixed so that it won't blow away and that's the ultimate point but like I said before it's pretty protected here so guys I've improvised a plumb line uh, the short line were alright but it's not going to work perfectly whereas that will because it can swing free and lads you know you've got to let your plumb swing free when it settles down I'll um, mark that and then I've got to come back an inch from that mark so it's actually not looking bad in that direction if you look in the other direction runs like that neighbors moving in to the into the block from hell so now I've got that mark and that mark I know the distance for me for the top post yeah now it's uh, 1872 so I can cut that now and what I'll do is I've got to work out where the windows are going to go it's going to be split into three so I'll work my centres out on that and then I'll mark them both up together now reason I'm marking them both up together is then they'll both be exactly the same so in theory everything will be square when it's notched in yeah and that's the best way to do it I'll try and get this uh, if we can get both sides done today I'll be well pleased and then it'll be a case of doing some painting. Um, I've got to get the, I've got to paint that ridge. It's sunny out now. It's cold, but it, it was frosty this morning. So I want to pull that off and uh, and get that painted. That'd be excellent if I can get that done today and these two sides built. Because I've still got to do other, the same with the other side basically. I've got to plumb it. I've got to drop a plumb line onto it just to see where it comes to and everything. Can't go off measurements. Can't really go off a. Uh, water level don't fit in there so plumb line's best way to go if it were good enough for the Romans it's good enough for me so this is my top beam now these top corners they're, they're my posts my corner posts yeah that's my top beam that's my bottom track if you want now <clears throat> like I say I'm gonna mark all these exactly the same that's where it runs through the right garage yeah under that Part what I've just plumbed out and I'm gonna lap joint these will be lap joint good strong construction and uh, it'll stop there's no way it's gonna do that I don't like so I'll put a lap joint in and then I've got a nice that'll hold it all square so I've marked that out that's the the top section I'm gonna transfer the marks over that's my center yeah so it's just a case of measuring from insides of that, divide it by three, that'll give me my centres. Uh, five, eight point three, fifty-eight point three, five hundred and eighty-three millimetres, yeah? So now if I transfer this, everything will all line up top and bottom. Obviously I'm only gonna show you this side. I've just, uh, <laughs> here's, here's another tip. When storing latex paint, don't put it in the garage and forget about it when you've got it minus temperatures because now I need to buy some more latex paint. I don't have any, it's, it's gone kaput. So, I, I did have it in here, I used it and I put it in the garage. So, that's rather annoying. But hey ho, not a lot I can do about that now. So, all transferred now I've got to notch these out now like I say lap joints for the top that's got to be 
half, so that's got to be 30. These have just got to be 2.5, uh, 2.4, but that's basically where that joint is there. So all I'm going to do is nick that out. But what I've got to do is add screws now, either side. Take that one out, add one there, and, and one there, and then that's all solid. So that's the advantage of having stuff on wheels, you can move stuff around and find all dirt from behind it. So I'm going to notch these out, and I thought about doing it with Japanese saw for that other one, but I just can't be bothered. I'll just run it on sledge, see? And that'll do it. Same as alt notches for, for these. Then it's just a case of constructing it. So that's them cut out, yeah? Nah. What I've got to do now is um, cut them at the same depth as that. You see I'm just kissing there, so that's good. Cut them to the same depth as that. But these have got to be 30 deep, 30 millimeter, half of this, because that's gonna be my lap joint. They're going to be my supports. <laughs> Although I've just, uh, I've took, I've made a skull by error. I've took that out completely, but I really only wanted to take it out to there. Fool, not a problem. I'll just have to patch it. Such is life. You only make mistake, that mistake once. It's not worth me doing another piece of wood, you know what I mean? I'll just patch it. Um, yeah, I could actually just put a little piece on that on that one and recut it. But other side, I've done the same. Cut it down to there. No matter. So that's them done. Now I've got a got to do is reset my saw up. I'm going to use a piece of the six by six what I've got and make a test piece. That's pretty damn good. One's a little bit looser, but still good. So, I'm going to sneak up on it. It's about four millimetre there. Just raise blade, another two millimetre, and see if I can catch it this time. And then I'll do my pieces that I need. Still a millimetre. I'm just over a millimetre, I've moved it up a millimetre, so <laughs> I'm going to be happy with that. I might just do one more cut off of one of these and see what it brings it down to, and then I'll be happy with it. Just show you this as well. A piece of board there is the same depth as that sled, yeah? So that brings me at right height, it makes it easier to stop it from cockling. So that's basically one side, that's the bottom, although it's the top here, it's the bottom. I'm just pulling it together so all joints are tight, with a ratchet strap, you can move mountains with ratchet straps. Um, and I've got to do the same again, <laughs> just a different size. After mice look, where's the mace? Where's the muesli? Where's the muesli? that mouse. 
front inside what it looked like. I'm gonna put that in the garage now. Can't paint it because my paint's gone off. <laughs> Bugger. But uh, I'll, I'll upload this now. It's gone on long enough. Uh, what I will do is I'll seal all these with acrylic. I might take it apart and glue it. I'm not sure yet before I paint it, obviously. But I know it's right. It fits because base plate fits, so it's all good. But I'll upload this now and. Hopefully I'll get other bits cut today.